All right, I'm Pete Prisco for CBSSports.com in Davie, Florida. It's time for one man. That would be me against one fan, Alexander Del Rosario. Del Rosario, I got it right. What about that name, huh? All right, let's talk about the Miami Dolphins. Wildcat a year ago. Now it's the rage around the league. I can't stand the offense. I think it's a gimmick. You take the ball out of your quarterback's hands. As a fan of the Dolphins, what do you think of it? Well, we went 11 and 5 last year. I mean, I, I thought it was a gimmick too. I thought it was going to work, but the pa it worked well against the Patriots, and it continued. And it spread throughout the league. It became, you know, something became huge. You know, it, you saw it happen. I saw it happen. Everyone was using it at least once or twice in a game. So, a year from now, we won't even know what the Wildcat is. Oh, wait a second. There's the Wild Pat. Have you seen the guy throw the ball here lately? You know what Wild Pat means? That describes his passes. They go everywhere. What do you think about that draft pick? I don't like it. I don't like drafting a, a quarterback who stroke. I mean, he's a great college quarterback. There's a lot of great college quarterbacks, you know. I don't think it's going to translate well into the, to the NFL. I don't, I, I don't like the pick. All right, Jason Taylor's back, old face. He looks like he's having a good camp, but you have age there. You have age in Joey Porter. You have age in Jason Taylor. At some point, that might be an issue. I think experience works in football. I think it's important to have, you know, Jason Taylor and you mean who's going to match up against who's not, who are they going to bring to uh, cover Jason Taylor they have you know Joy Porter he had 17 sacks by himself last year now they got Jason Taylor to help him out I think it's going to be an important it's an important experience pickup and it's under you know an, a million dollars for that they paid for him I think it's the deal all right schedule's tougher um it's going to be significantly tougher. I think they take a step back this year, and they're not a playoff team. Do you believe that? Yeah, yeah I think 8-8, eight 9-7. And eight, and and I, I don't see. They're a good team, but Bill Parcells' teams usually take a step back in the second year. You know, Last year, he started surprisingly 11-5. and five. We didn't expect it. I think they go 9-7 and seven this year. Yeah, I, that might be asking much, but then next year they come roaring back when they put Chad Henney in his quarterback. I'm Pete Prisco for CBSSports.com.